Artzuka! Hey, I'm Jeremy. Let's Artzuka. <laughs> use this photo to make a great work of art. This is magic, watch. This is a scan of a picture. It's not just a regular photograph, it's my all-time favorite photograph. Isn't it beautiful? I like it so much that I'm going to transfer it on something else and Artzuka something really cool. You can do this with any photo, you just have to scan or photocopy it first. I like this a lot, but I think I'd like it a little bit smaller, so with my scissors, I'm just gonna trim it up a bit. Now remember, you don't have to do this, I just want it smaller. Now what I want to do is take a little piece of cardboard. Here we go, this will work. Then choose some craft paint. I think I'll use green. And with a paintbrush, glob it right onto the board. We'll start right in the middle. Now I wanna make sure that's nice and thick. That way our photocopied picture will stick really well to it. And I think I'll just cover this part right here. And leave the outside edge for a nice border. But once I've covered that with paint, I take my picture and I just lay it right down into the paint. Use my fingers to gently press it into the cardboard. Get all those air bubbles out. Mm -hmm. There, once you've done that, set it aside to dry. Now here's one I did earlier, and this one is nice and dry. Now check this out, this is really fun. First, I want to get a nice old towel and just lay it out onto my table because this is going to get a little bit messy. And now, a jar of water. I dip my fingers in and get the water right onto my picture, just like this. And then, with my fingers, rub the water into the picture. And look at that, you can see the horse coming through the paper. Once I have the whole thing covered in water, it's time for the magic. Pull away all of the old photo. So all the paper on top, just peel that off. And you don't have to be too careful. Just get the paper off. And I like to start off with the pieces that just peel off really easily. Just like that. And then the rest of it kind of sticks down. So, I'll grab my scrub brush and just scrub the rest away. And you can see when we scrub, it takes the paper away and the picture has been transferred onto our cardboard. Now you can use as much water for this as you need. And the cool part is that the picture you get doesn't come out looking exactly the same as the original photo. It's always a great surprise. Now once you've scrubbed off all the extra paper, it'll look something like this. Now this one is complete. And look at that, it looks amazing. Now you can do this on cardboard like this, or you can do it on canvas like this one. It's not just magic, it's Artzuka magic. I think this photo art is magical. 
it's easy to put your favorite picture on a piece of cardboard or canvas. You'll need a photocopy or a scan of the photo. Cut it to the shape you want, then take craft paint and spread it on the cardboard. Press your photocopy picture onto the paint and push down to press out all the air bubbles. Then you'll need an old towel because this gets messy. Once it's completely dry, sprinkle some water on the paper until it's really wet. And then peel and wipe the paper away. Your picture appears like magic. For great ideas like this, check out artsuka.com. Art? is the best, and I want to see it everywhere. Let's make some art for the sky. Yes! I've been asking my friends to save me their chip bags because these jumbo bags will work perfectly to make a flying fish windsock. But first, we need a handle, and a wire hanger works really well. Here we go. Now, I have this coat hanger, and check it out. It's nice and bendy. And so what I want to do is bend this coat hanger into a nice round shape and it'll look like this. See that? And then I took the hook and bent that really straight and now we have a perfect handle. But first I need to wrap duct tape at the bottom. So with a little bit of duct tape, I'll place it on there like that and then just wrap it around. There we go. Now that we have our handle, we're ready to make the body of the windsock. I've cut out these chip bags. I just cut them open and then wash them with soapy water because they can be kind of greasy. Then when I take the two chip bags that I've cut and washed, I just tape them together right here with a piece of clear tape. Now we'll attach this to the coat hanger. So it's easiest to start right in the middle. And I'll start right about here and then choose one direction you want to go. Fold it there like that. With my tape, I just tape it into place. So I started in the middle, and now I'll just go this way. Just taping away. And we just want to fold just a little bit of the bag over the hanger and tape it into place. Sometimes when you're doing this, it might be a little tricky on your own. So if you need some help, ask someone to hold the hanger for you while you tape it. Fortunately, I'm all by myself, so I'll try to do it. It seems to be working okay. Let's see here. There, now that I have that side finished, I want to do the same thing to the other side so it goes all the way around like that. And when I'm done, it'll look like this. Now that I have the chip bags taped all the way around, I just need to finish it off by taping this part right here. So I'll take my piece of tape, and I'll start right at the top. There we go. And then I can go right down to the bottom. You can get away with taping just the top and the bottom, or if you want it to be really, really secure, tape all the way up. And now we have our fish body. Okay, it doesn't really look like a fish body yet, but I think it would be really fun to add a fish tail to this windsock. So, I'm gonna take another chip bag, and check this out. 
I took this chip bag and I just cut the edges. One there, and one there. Then what I want to do is cut it lengthwise into strips like this. So with my scissors, that's a pretty good size right there. I go all the way up. I pull it out and I have a big looking fishtail. And this is terrific for fishtails on our windsock. So what I did was I took a whole bunch of them right here and now I just need to tape them on. So we'll start with this one. This looks like a good fishtail. To tape these into place, all I have to do is take my fishtail, take one little strip of tape like that, just tape it onto my windsock on the inside. And there we go, there's our fishtail. Now I'll add one more. This is a shorter one, let's put the shorter one on. Now the cool thing about this is you can tape them on so that the silver side is hanging out or so that the chip side is hanging out. It's really up to you. Once I've added as many strips as I like, it'll look like this one that I did earlier. <laughs> and you can see it has all these really cool fish tails, but I think it needs something else. Fish eyes. So earlier, I took some pieces of paper and I just added some big black pupils right in the middle with a marker and with some tape on the back, I can just tape these eyes right onto my fish. So let's see, this is the top of the fish's head. I'm gonna put my eyes right about here and here. And now it looks like it's ready for swimming in the sky. To make your own flying fish, you'll need some large chip or snack bags. Cut them open and give them a wash with soapy water. Then tape two of them together. I bent a hanger into a round shape and added duct tape on the end for a handle. Then I taped the chip bags to the hanger. Some more cut up chip bags make a fun tail. I made big fish eyes by cutting out paper circles and marking in pupils. We have this project and lots more at Artzuka.com. My name's Anthony. What can you make out of sports equipment? That's a great challenge. Let's see what I can art zook at. Sports equipment, huh? A water bottle, balls, skate guards, shin pads.
It's a fly. It's all in how you look at it. Ah, pipe cleaners. <laughs> I can't imagine art without them. They're fuzzy and colorful, and they bend and hold their shape. Look what you can make with them. How about some kind of animal? So to make an animal, we'll start off with the head. So one loop for one ear, another loop for another ear. Twist it around. We'll make a dog, how about? These sort of look like dog ears. Uh, just twist it here, make another loop, and our dog has a nose. Hmm. I know I said it looks like a dog, but now I'm thinking it looks more like a moose. So let's make a moose instead. We'll start off with the legs. So for the legs, I'll bend the pipe cleaner like this and make some loops at the bottom for his feet. There's one foot. And there's the other. Now I'll attach the head to the legs by twisting them together. A dancing two-legged moose. Now he needs a body and two more legs. To make the body, I'll attach another pipe cleaner between the head and the legs. And with this extra pipe cleaner at the end, I just fold it over and then twist it into a loop like this. Any leftover pipe cleaner can be twisted around to make the body stronger. And now for the back legs. I'll make the back legs the same way I made the front legs. I just slide a pipe cleaner through the loop that I made at the back here and twist it into place. Then I make loops for the feet like I did before. And when I'm done, I've got a colorful, fuzzy, bendy moose. Check out these other animals I made. This one right here, that's a bird. And here is a llama. Llama. You can make a whole bunch of them and you can change them all you want. It's super simple and really fun to try. Here are some of my fuzzy collection. I made them the same way by twisting the pipe cleaners together in different ways. So go ahead and get twisty. You'll have a blast. We have lots more fun art ideas like this at artsuka.com. Artsuka! And now time for an Artsuka safety message. Remember, when drawing hungry crocodiles, you might want to keep an eraser handy. For my Artsuka Recycle Challenge, I challenged myself to make something out of a piece of styrofoam and a plastic lid. I put them in a movie starring a paper bag. Come, and see what I made. I also put something else in my movie. A clothespin. See if you can spot where I put it. Now, sit back and enjoy Cinema Artsuka. Here's the piece of styrofoam. And here's the plastic lid. Can you guess what it is? Now let's see it in a movie.
you like my movie? I made a computer out of a piece of styrofoam and a plastic lid. Hey, did you spot the clothespin? Take another look at where I put it. Here's my challenge to you. Make something out of a piece of styrofoam and a plastic lid. Be really creative, anything goes. And when you do, take a picture and email it to me at the Artsuka website, artsuka.com. What will you Artsuka today? <laughs>